In this video we're going to be breaking down a graduation bob or a layered bob. So let's start with the sectioning off. We're going to take a horseshoe section right above the parietal ridge all the way around and we're just going to section that out of the way. On this mannequin head that's where most of the thickness of the hair is so I want to get that out of the way because I do want to keep some of that thickness so I'm just going to section that out and clip that out of the way. And then my next section is just right behind the ear, pretty basic, just straight down. You know, I always clip it out of the way. I try to keep my sections really clean. Just makes a haircut flow better or I know where I'm at. So I'll just clip that out of the way. And we're going to be starting at the very base or at the nape. Um, I'm working with a cutting stool because I'm going to bring myself down to eye level to make sure everything's straight. The very first thing is to determine where you want the length to be. So I'm going to pop her head slightly forward just so we can bring it with no elevation and directly down. So I want this to be in about the middle of the neck so I am going to bring that middle section. I always start in the middle um, when I create my first guideline. So once you've created the guideline you're going to bring the next couple of sections straight down, zero elevation, just working your way up. So I am using a cutting stool today to bring myself down to eye level so I can see my guideline. And I should mention that I did put some David Troy serum in this before I started the haircut because I like to cut with a little bit of product in the hair. So we're just going to work all the way up to the occipital bone before we start creating that graduation or the round layers. Once you get to that point of the occipital bone, now we're going to start creating that graduation. I'm bringing everything out at 90 degrees, but this haircut is actually slightly under 90 degrees because I've still got a head tilted forward. So, and I'll show you why at the very end we're doing it this way. But all we're doing is bringing it directly off the scalp and connecting it to the bottom. Each time I take a new section, I've got a moving guideline. So I take a little bit of the section behind me to move that guideline but bringing it directly out um, at 90 degrees off the scalp. As I'm working my way around and I get to right behind the ear, I'm going to slightly over direct it back because I want to keep a little bit of that weight right behind the ear and we can take that out later when we finish drying it but it's a little bit hard to see here but I'm going to slightly direct it back and just keep a little bit of that weight right there. Okay, so you can start to see what's happening already with those layers or the roundness starting to appear. So I'm going to work my way around the other side doing exactly the same thing. Now we're going to connect the back to the sides of the haircut. We're going to take diagonal sections forward from the top of the crown right to the front of the ear. So before we start cutting the side, we lift her head up directly straight so we can connect the side. And this is where we want to keep a lot of the length or a lot of that fullness down the bottom. Now we're going to connect the top to the rest of the haircut. I let that horseshoe section out, but then I section it off directly down the middle. So right where the crown is, this is where we're going to get that little bit of roundness. So I'm going to pull it out at 90 degrees to connect it to the back, and then just take that corner off and drag it up slightly. You can see right here, just creating a little bit of roundness on the top, and you'll see that right at the end. So working off that center part, I'm just over directing it back and I'm just connecting everything to that guideline at the back of the head. 
So after working through one side, you just go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. And you're basically dragging everything back to a stationary guideline at this point. It's not a moving guideline like we had before. So we work our way all the way around. Now that I've finished, I put a little bit of mousse in it before I blow dry it. I've already got the serum in it. I just want something in there to give it a little bit of body. So I use the Paul Mitchell Awapui Mousse. Once you've blow dried it, I'm just going to go through and curl it with a curling iron because I really love this look at the moment and I love the way this haircut turned out. Maybe I'm stuck in the 50s era at the moment and doing a little bit but it reminds me of a little bit of a Marilyn Monroe type look or a grown out Marilyn Monroe. Look, I love the way this haircut turned out. I couldn't have been more happy with it. I think it's got a lot of movement to it. I love it with that little bit of curl. I think it's got the fullness and the body. But you can start to see the shape, the roundness. Now I know you're not going to do this with your client, but if you tip the head upside down or you grab the mannequin and just tip it sideways, you can see the real shape that we've created here. The roundness or the graduation, look at I think it's perfect. You can see right here, I love it. I think this haircut turned out really well. If this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, check out some of my other videos. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. And if you've made it this far, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a comment in the section below if you've done this haircut before. Or if you've done something similar to any of your clients. I'd love to hear from you guys. But thank you again so much for watching.